Good morning. Today is August the 8th, the 11th Sunday after Pentecost. Welcome to worship in the environment of Ravenshu United Church. Located in a piece of land that has been for thousands of years the territories of the Longhouse Confederacy and the Shinabiwaki and Mississauga. We thank the seven nations that signed the William Treaties, which allows us to share this land. We acknowledge the First Nations people, their history, spirituality, languages, and culture. Among the Ojibwa, Anishinaabe, and Chippewas, we acknowledge, in particular, the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation as our close neighbor and friend, with whom we learn to live in peace and friendship. Announcements A joint bond meeting will be held on the coming Tuesday, August the 10th, at 7.30 p.m. at Keswick United Church. Please confirm your attendance to the office if you will be there in person or online. Let us begin today's worship. Peace be with you, and also with you. Lighting of the Christ Candle We light this candle as a sign of God's Spirit at work in the world. May His light brighten our spirits. May the light of God shining through us brighten the world. Let's sing together the Lord's Prayer. Call to worship. We gather to worship God who loves, forgives, and meets with us individually and in community. Let us put aside those things that will get in the way of worship today. We put aside the things that will get in the way of worship today. Let us build up and develop those things that will add to our worship today. We build up and develop the things that will add to our worship today. We gather to worship God in community. Voices United 568 Dear Lord, lead me day by day.
steadfast, wise and strong, happy most of all to know that my dear Lord loves me so. Praise to God, fount of love, praise from morn till set of sun, praise at home, praise in church, praise to God everywhere on earth. Dear Lord, lead me day by day, make me follow and obey, faithfully your words of life, that your love heard and abide. Praise to God, fount of love, praise from morn till set of sun, praise at home, praise in church, praise to God everywhere on earth. Now with confidence I sing joyous praises to our God, and with a bright heart I give tender care and sympathy. Praise to God, fount of love, praise from morn till the set of sun, praise at home, praise in church, praise to God everywhere on earth. Gathering prayer. God who loves us, who hears us when we are joyful, and who hear us when we despair. Hear our prayers and songs this morning. Be close to us as we worship in joy and in sorrow. Help us to be close to each other, helping and supporting and reflecting the love of Christ. We pray. Amen. Today's responsive scripture is from Psalm 130. We shall proceed after hearing the refrain. Out of the depths have I called to you, O God. Hear my cry. Let your ears be attentive to my plea for mercy. If you should keep account of what is done amiss, O God, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, therefore we will honor you. I wait for you, God. My soul waits, and in your word is my hope. My soul waits for God more than the watchers long for morning, more than the watchers long for morning. O Israel, wait in hope, for with God there is love unfailing. With God is great power to redeem, to redeem you, Israel, from all your sins. Out of the depths I cry to you, my hope is in your promise true. What says United 652, Be still, my soul. Yeah, yeah. 
patiently the cross of grief or pain, trusting your God, your Savior, and your guide, who through all changes faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, your best, your Today's scripture is from the epistle of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 25 to chapter 5, verse 2. The reader is Kathy Anderson. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands, so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. In Christ. Now we are together. So what comes next? We are all members of one body, wrote Paul. He wrote this letter at about 60 common era when he was in prison in Rome. He wrote it to the church in Ephesus, where he spent several years. Paul recognized the city's importance as a key to the western provinces of Asia Minor to spread the gospel. He knew some of the Christians there, of course. However, there were a lot more he was not familiar with since Ephesus connected to an extensive network of outlying villages and rural areas up to 30 miles from the city. Now we are together, so what comes next? 
it is a fundamental question to us, 2,000 years after the emergence of Christianity. So was it to the Christians in Ephesus back then, where there were many Gentiles with different cultural, economic, and even political backgrounds. Paul asked the Christians in Ephesus to put away falsehood, be angry, but do not sin. He said thieves must give up stealing and ask them not to let evil talk out, come out of their mouths. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God and put away from them all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice. It's unfortunate that we all tend not to speak the truth, the whole truth. We might do it out of good intentions. That's why we have white lies. When your best friend appears in front of you with a new haircut and asks you the question, how do I look? Do I look fabulous? What will you say? Sometimes it's a challenge, right? But similar challenges come all the time in our daily life, in different forms, of course. We don't want to engage in a hot dispute if we don't know much about hairdressing. But what if you are a hairdresser, a hairstylist, someone knowledgeable in the area? Would there be a conflict of interest when you get involved? The whole scenario will change and we often don't know what falsehood is and what is not. Be angry, but do not sin. It is something easier to say than to do. When Jesus tried to describe the people he met, he said, they are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others. We played the pipe for you and you do not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. We don't want to be like that. Having emotions is good, but we don't want to have our feelings out of control. When we feel for someone, should we commit ourselves totally to the relationship? Like an unbreakable vow? What if it is a social movement against injustice? How emotional should we get ourselves involved? Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, as the Bible says? Or turn to those who slapped you on the right cheek, the other cheek, as Jesus said. Thieves must give up stealing and let no evil talk come out of your mouths. These are warnings against improper behaviors and speeches. Stealing is to take another person's or business property without permission and without the intention to return it. It's easy in this generation to get into trouble then. Like flex time, using company phones and laptops, smoke breaks, socializing, etc. They all fall into the gray area. Are we thieves then? Besides, it's easy to say words that hurt. It's your fault, not mine. I can, but you can't. I think you need to calm down. You never help. Never mind, I'll just do it myself. I hate it when you do that. Shut up. I don't care about what you have to say. It's more enjoyable to earning things through one's hard working, if possible. Even have it shared with the needy. It will be more fun to contribute to creative works, to make use of all available resources, to reveal the abundance of God. Jesus said, Anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Can you imagine that the work of the Holy Spirit might be the small voice in our head and the inner voice in our heart? Hear what Jesus said on the cross. Truly, I tell you, 
Today you will be with me in paradise. He didn't ask a criminal whom he talked to to confess, nor he asked him to change his behavior. He said the same thing to those who executed him. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. If we disregard the small voice as an option for consideration, we shall be on our own. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. A declaration has been made that the rival relationships between God and the world, God and us, we and others, have been restored. Why don't we simply accept that and put our trust in it? What else are we seeking? Jesus is the foundation of our faith. It makes sense to say, put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another. Love, unconditional love, is the solution to our ultimate concern. Not to hold on to things, but to let go, to let unexpected things happen. The story time. The master kept scraping a brick against the floor of the room where his disciples sat in meditation. At first the disciples was contained, taking this a test as a test of his power of concentration. But when the sound became unbearable, he burst out and said, What on earth are you doing, master? Can't you see? I am in meditation. Oh, I'm polishing this brick to make a mirror out of it, said the master. You're crazy. How can you make a mirror out of a brick? No crazier than you. What do you think you can get by meditation? Just by yourself? As Jesus said, God loves the world. Peace involves not only me, but also God and others. Therefore, be imitators of God, be in Christ, and make peace with all. Amen. More Voices 62. There is room for all.
Thank you for your continuous support. The ministries of the church would be hard to continue without it. For the work of caring and compassion in our neighborhoods, nations, and the world. You can make a donation to the church through pre-authorized remittance or through mailing your check to the church office or go online to canadahelps.org and make your donation. Please note that you can now send your donations to Keswick and Ravenshield United Church by e-transfer. You can find the complete information here or you can contact the church office for more details. Prayer of Dedication May these gifts, offerings of kindness and generous sharing of what we have be for the building up of all. Amen. Prayers of the People If you have prayer requests, please send them to me before the next Sunday service. We respect everyone's privacy, so unless I have your consent to share with others, they will stay with me only. With your consent, we shall send your prayer concerns to the church members by email, and they will not appear in this video. Our prayer today is composed of several sessions. After each session, we shall respond together. Let us pray. We pray our God with our neighbors, asking that our relationships will be honest and fair. We pray with our neighbors, angry about the injustices we see and the inequity we experience. Help us to use our anger to speak powerfully and make a change. We pray with our neighbors for kindness and care. Help us to give honesty, justice, practical support, and kindness where they are needed. May we also receive honesty, justice, practical support, and kindness when we are in need. In particular, we pray for Sarah Robinson, who fell and fractured the head of the femur. She was brought into hospital and an operation has been done. We are glad to know that God prepared good surgeon and therapist to take care of her. Let us pray for her recovery. Amen. Voices United 582 there is a spirit in the air. Verses 1, 2, and 5. Yeah. 
Let's be joyful when we receive the blessing from God. As we continue to worship day by day in the tasks we do and with the people we meet, let us take care to build, renew and support and know that Christ is with us. Amen. Voices United 429. May the blessing of God be upon you. Our worship service this morning has come to an end. Remember, you can always reach me by leaving a message in the office or call me directly. See you next Sunday.